Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode on Old Family Farm with your friendly neighborhood farmer, Raznak. And today, it is mid-spring. Uh, I had to fast-forward time a little bit. It rained for like two days straight, and the ground temperature wasn't high enough to plant. Um, but we have, let's see, we have ground temperature good for wheat, barley, canola, which um, is going to be in our rotation. We're going to do barley and canola. The only reason why I'm going to do barley is it yields a little better than wheat. So I'm going to do that. We can't plant corn yet, of course, because it's not warm enough. I went ahead and set up rotation for our four fields. Um, according to the computer, the last two times they were fallow. So like if you run over here and... Uh, or plod. La 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 la. Okay. Um, so fallow, fallow, before previous and previous. So... Um, I went ahead and set up a rotation, and what we're going to do is, um, it's easier to see kind of the fields like this. I'm going to put, this is going to be wheat, or barley. Um, both of these are going to be corn, and this one's going to be canola, and that's my plan. Actually, no, no, sorry, wheat, or barley, canola, corn, and corn is what we're going to do. Um, this time around and then you can see I kind of have the rotation worked out where I have plenty of crop to feed the pigs and at the same time I have um, uh, I'm not losing yield in fact I think I have everything's multiplied except for this little first rotation here and that's because I had to I had to squeeze corn in on the second year somewhere and we're only gonna have a single corn crop this that year so hopefully it carries us over um, we'll see see it is 7 a.m. on this beautiful mid-spring morning Let's see what else did I do oh I bought a few seeds just a couple pallets of seed um, I put them here in our storage barn I love this barn by the way this is I mean I love this thing this is great it's plenty it's big enough it's not too big it's neat it's got great details and it's a wonderful place for pallets and uh, bales I mean, you could you could do some great bale storage in this. This is a great, great little barn. Love it. Awesome. It's got the light on the outside. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So we need to plant. That's what we got to do. Because weather um, is showing we have rain on Monday and Tuesday. And like I said, I'm not going to plant in the rain. I'm not going to do any field work in the rain. Um, so we have today and a little bit of time tomorrow morning to take care of that. Sorry, I had to sneeze, so I stuck it on mute for a second. Didn't think you'd want to hear that. Let's check our uh, ground moisture. It should be fine. Um, I'm going to say like 30-something percent, probably. Uh, 26 percent. That's perfect. So we have good ground temp. And uh, let's see. So wheat, canola, you should be fine at 41 I don't see any temperatures dropping below 32. I could be wrong, but that's what I don't see. As for pigs, we're probably not going to get pigs until the beginning of the second year. I don't have anything to feed them, so we're going to have to do that. And I probably didn't need this big of a silo on this tiny farm, but I like it. We'll use it, and eventually we'll own the whole map, and we'll win. All right. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see about a cedar. Um, I wanted to go with something kind of, uh, I'm not going to do these cases, these things are huge, um, but what I'm going to do is this, just the Great Plains, 3 meter, old school, um, seed and furt, I think, yep, seed and furt, and if you haven't noticed, oh yeah, let's talk about that, um, go in here, go in here, global company script is out. And I went ahead and put the mods in this playthrough. I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't know how much of this stuff I'm going to use. I might use the seed maker later on. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any cattle, so I don't know if I really need silage or any of that stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the great thing is, is I also installed the icon pack. I really like these icons. They're kind of cool looking. They're neat. 
Uh, it's easy to tell. I like how they're colored. Really, really cool. So, well, I tell you what, let's just get to it. Let's buy this cedar. And uh, buy this Great Plains. We'll have it delivered to us for $800. They're at the delivery cost. Although, that's kind of like funky. Oh, because the new vehicle one overlays it. Here's our cedar. Our New Holland. And we'll just back it into the barn and load it up. Oop. Button. Oh, because it's the other way, Raz. Jeez, oh, Pete. I am struggling today. Put this bad boy up. Alright. That is hooked up. Um, kill the engine. One thing I was sitting here watching. So I'm watching this in time lapse. And the wind changes direction with seasons, but the flags don't change. And I know that's picky and petty and little, but wouldn't it be so cool if the flags change direction with the wind? Now, somebody way smarter than me is going to have to figure that out. Because... I'm sure you'll have to have like multiple animations and somehow there'll have to be a script that reads wind direction and changes yeah, yeah. I just thought it would be cool though. Jump in our massey here. Grab a pallet. Yeah, I thought about going ahead and getting pigs and buying pig food and all that stuff, but I just don't want what I don't have enough money. They're like four hundred thousand dollars, which sounds like a lot, but I have to buy a harvester and um, a sprayer and herbicide and all that stuff still. So I really don't want to overextend myself. I don't have to, and I may buy more fields. I haven't decided yet. We'll fill this up. Only takes seven hundred liters type seed. So uh, the global company script does a few things, um, which I found out from some other people. I'm not smart enough to figure these things out on myself. So what I found out is you don't need the place anywhere mod anymore with global global uh, factory, global company. It kind of eliminates the need for that. You do not need the horse helper mod, of course. Um, takes care of that and you do not need um what's the other one can't remember ah I can't remember there's a couple of mods you don't need and they call it conflicts and you'll get error messages and then I've got a weird error message like way up here I don't know somebody in chat or someone in uh, the comments may know it says maximum number of configurations are reached. Only 64 configurations per type are allowed. And that's the only error message I have. I have no idea what that's from. As I zoom out above the park. Oh, I never noticed this stereo. This is cool up here. It's cool. Alright. Distracted. Easily distracted. Grab our fertilizer. With our little massy here. I don't know how accurate this would be to be on like a little um, American farm, but I like it. Now let's go to our spray rates, 300 liters per head. Let's see, I'm gonna decrease that. Just increase. We'll keep it at 300. That's what we'll do. Put this back inside the barn, and we'll do some seeding. Get in there. Get in there. I'm struggling today. I'm struggling. I'm, I'm only on like three sips of coffee. And uh, I worked all weekend, so I'm a little groggy at the moment. Oh my gosh. Too much pressure. There you go. There you go, Raz. Alright. You can put your uh, laughing out loud emojis in the 
comment section anytime you want. Alright, so let's go ahead and set up our control S. Auto width, 3 meters. Perfect. And first things first, I think what we'll do is... So I can't, I can't plant corn. Two of these fields are going to be corn, and which is going to be the small one, and the biggest one we have is going to be corn. This one right here is going to be barley. So we'll switch this over to barley. Nope, I don't want to. I want to raise it. Yeah, I was thinking I may end up buying um, seventy-six thousand. Yeah, I'm probably just going to buy these two fields too. I'm really thinking about it. Let's go ahead and buy those, and then make one big giant field there. I think I'm going to have the time and the money because for harvesters, what am I looking at? I don't think I have any mods in here yet. So if I went with this old New Holland, I'm only looking at 100 grand. That's probably which one I'll use. I've used the case a lot, and I really, I don't know. There's not tons of mods out there that are harvesters that I, I've used the Kloss, like Mega Pack. I've used a bunch of them, and I really haven't used that New Holland much. And considering we have a New Holland tractor, we can do that. Unless someone knows of a knows of a good New Holland Harvester mod, I would be willing to use that, um, but it needs to be good. I'm, I'm getting kind of picky about my mods, so let's turn that on. Let's set point A. And let's set point B. There we go. And we'll lock it in. Now, why do I use GPS on a small farm? Because it's easy. I can take my hands off the keyboard like I am right now, and I can sip my coffee, and when I'm not recording, I can watch Netflix. <laughs> That's the best thing about Farm Sim, is the Netflix and chill game. You can just chill and do other things at the same time, because once you lock in your course, you're good. Oh, a sip of coffee is delicious. Um, uh, someone asked me, oh, so why don't I stream? My internet sucks. That's why. I have upload speed of... It's supposed to be 1 meg. Yeah, 1 MBS, people. 1. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have. So, oh, we're running over the bush here. Lower our cedar down. Keep planting our barley. And I think that's ticking down okay. The fertilizer and the seed is kind of ticking down at about the same, which I'm okay with. In fact... Let me, um, yeah, no, I'm happy with its consumption. I don't know what it would be in real life for fertilizer. Actually, let me see if it's even, yeah, it's working. In fact, we're at three stages right here because of the planting bonus, but we're only at two stages here. Oh, or am I not? I don't know. I don't know. Let's look at right here. So this is only got this is three and this is only two. That's okay. That's okay. We'll fertilize it. Put some fertilizer down wherever it doesn't work correctly, I guess. I guess that's what we'll do. So what's new in the world of farm sim? Um, a lot of updated maps in the last week, um, last four or five days, I've kind of been out of the loop doing some other stuff and working. So a lot of maps um, that are seasons prepared out there right now. Um, so a lot of stuff to enjoy. Let's see what else. Uh, global company script. And immediately after it was released, we already have some placeables um, by the HOT, H-O-T folks. Um, there's some animal placeables they have and some um, industry placeables that they have. Uh, it's just basic industry right now, I believe. With just like seed, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, things like that. So you can have a whole production change, chain to produce everything you need on the farm. So once you get going, you actually can set it up where you never have to buy any seed, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, etc. Which is pretty cool. Some people really like to do that. 
Uh, also, it's great for multiplayer because now you can have people that do nothing but buy product from other players and produce things and kind of run like a farm shop, which I did in a previous multiplayer episode, and it was really, really fun using uh, the mixing wagon wagons. They're not really realistic, but it was fun. And there's a video of mine out there that kind of updated on that MP server. So I'm really interesting to see, really interested to see what kind of productions come out. Now I think Candolin is the map, and Farmer Klein is planning like a multiplayer play on that. I don't think I'm going to join in on it. If I do, I'm just going to help somebody else. I just don't have the time to commit to a full multiplayer right now. I would love to, but there's some other things I want to work on. Um, I want to work on this series. I'm working on the Blackbird Farm series. And there's something in the works uh, with some Discord buddies of mine for a really, really, really long-term play um, where we actually run a farm and everybody gets paid a wage and eventually people can kind of branch out on their own and open their own companies. And that's going to be a long-term. Um, but we're waiting for a good 4X map to come out. So I've got that on my plate. Oh, what else? Uh, another Discord friend has asked me to help with some testing on a map, and I'm going to be recording those testing sessions. and Not the full sessions, but like snippets here and there. Uh, and that way, viewers can see the map, and also it's any errors I find or issues um, in testing, the map author can work on. And it's, it's kind of nice, I think, probably as a map author to see the video of stuff working. So... That's what I'm gonna do. So I got all that stuff going on. Um, plus, I might do some Minecraft, and I still haven't finished Void Bastards. I want to finish that game. I haven't finished that yet. So all kinds of stuff. Working on all kinds of stuff right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's me. That's kind of my update. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go quiet with the voice. We're going to, through the magic of time-lapse, we're going to uh, seed in these fields, listen to some nice, pleasant music, and I'll be back as soon as it's done. All right, talk to you all in a few minutes. done doing the barley field it is time to re let's reload the uh the seed and furt here real quick ah oh, i'm gonna break it i've uh i've got in that little area between the pallets so it's probably gonna get stuck there you go open that right up reload all right the magic of farm sim. I said so this is just me playing. Uh, I'm not like super realistic <laughs> in my approach. There's a few things that I'll do that are probably real, but I'm not a farmer and I do not know much 
about farming other than what I've learned playing this game and off of YouTube. So if you are a real farmer and you're watching this and you're shaking your head excessively at me, that's okay. I understand completely. <laughs> but that's not what this series is. It's not. It's just uh, my fun. My fun time. Alright. That's full. I love these pallets, by the way. They're, I love them. They're awesome. I might, um, I know there's some seed, uh, some signs. I might get those, probably. That's what we'll do. I, I'm gonna do that. Pretty sure I've seen them, um, on one of the Facebook groups that I'm in that has them. And I will, if I use them, I'll provide a link to the Facebook group book group that I got those from. That way you can find them. Alright, let's jump back in our tractor. And run over here. I'm pretty sure it was this field that we're going to seed on the right side. Yeah, because the left side's the bigger one that's going to be corn. So yeah, this is going to be canola over here. Jump. Uh, yep, we should be good. Yep, we'll put this in canola. Alright, again, through the magic have wonders of YouTube and to some beautiful music. I'll get this seeded up and we'll talk to you in just a minute.
is it for the first round of planting. Um, we are done with the barley and we're done with the canola. We have corn to plant, but of course it's not warm enough. It's probably going to be uh, end of spring before we'll be able to put the corn in ground. And hopefully, hopefully we don't run into any issues. Like I said the weather is showing rain. Um, one, two, three, four, five, like the next five out of six days. So I'm hoping um, when that rain is done, it'll be kind of in the planting window for corn. That's my plan, at least. We'll go over here and put this stuff away, because so we're done with it. And like I said, I may expand the farm, um, so I'm kind of looking at how much time I have and how much money I have. I have $414,000, but I also have the ability to get more from the bank. And uh, I'm not against borrowing. <laughs> I'll use the bank's money. Don't bother me. Um, because I don't know how well we're going to make money off of this, these pigs. Let me turn the solar off. I guess, see, I just dropped that. So I guess I could lower it first and then detach it. It would probably be better to do. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I may actually buy these two areas here. Um thinking let me run through the bushes and that'll that'll kind of give us this whole center of the map yeah hey bye is there something planted sugar beets here <sighs> and do I plow that under There's barley here you can use the barley the sugar beets is like ugh. Um, planted in oats. I may just plow it all under. I'm really tempted to. I don't know. It's, it's just the trees. Oh, a little river here. Oh, look. How nice. A waterfall. Isn't this quaint and special? Alright. Um, do I, what do I own? Alright, so this is just... I could buy this eventually and expand to this, make this a big field. I could do that. This area up here, um, there's not really a whole lot up there. It's kind of a flat area that you could build on or plant trees. So I don't see that as good farming land. This over here, this is a big chunk here. And then this massive daddy down here. There's all kinds of, all kinds of areas to play with. Um, we're not even close to being done. If you noticed in the first uh, half of the video, I forgot to adjust the time to 15x. Um, so I have that up and running now. But yeah, seed is in the ground. I'm going to call it quits for this episode. I really, really appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, tips, tricks, hints, whatever you want to tell me, drop it in there. I read all of them and reply to almost all of them. Um, and I really, really appreciate everyone's support. The channel is growing nicely. It's still very small, but I really appreciate everybody's support and kind words and encouragement and corrections when I am wrong, which is a lot because I am don't know what I'm doing half the time. Still learning, and this is fun. All right, everybody take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and you will see you next time.